toilet training. There is so much energy around toilet training that there are books and classes and all sorts of people with theories on it. Um, mine's pretty simple. Children don't date in diapers. Um, I think a lot of the hype around toilet training is um, detrimental to the child. It really depends on how intense the parent becomes, how frustrated the parent becomes, how upset the parent becomes if the child doesn't fall into the, the training process. This is a time when the child's brain is, is mapping. And um, let me say it in a different way. Children are made of clay. And, and, and every single impression, everything you're saying and doing is making an impression in this, play, in this clay. If you get a lot of energy on toilet training and for whatever reason your child just isn't ready to listen to the body signals, then you're giving a really, really intense message of being disappointed in the child's performance. Um, I would just say chill. Peer pressure has all the pressure that a child needs to get in the program, to pay attention, and to be trained. Now, there are incentives you can do. You, you can encourage a child. You can pay attention to the child's body needs. If a child, after a child eats, about an hour after a child eats, they tend to poop in their diapers, then that would be a good time to go and put them on the potty and encourage them to, um, to pay attention to that signal and to have a success. But once again, it depends on how intense you are about it. Um, you can also turn things into a game. I remember that my son Scott was um, unable to learn. Um, he just would not stand up and pee in the toilet. And um, his father was going crazy trying to show him, spending a lot of energy on it. And I walked in, and, and Scott was into firemen. I mean, into firemen. And so uh, I dropped a piece of toilet paper into the toilet, and I said, that's the fire. This is the fire hose. Put it out. And uh, he was successful. My grandson was sitting on the toilet, and he was just learning to, to uh, poop in the toilet. And um, he was a little reluctant to do so, but he was really into airplanes and stuff. So I dropped a piece of toilet paper down into the toilet, and I said, you're a bomber. I said, drop your bomb. And he was successful. I looked between his legs and he went, I did it. And then he began to associate the sense of feeling and the sense of release. And it added into a positive vein of a game rather than something was so intense. Be careful about pushing your children with toilet training.